Good afternoon. Today is the meal prep video day, like I promised. And on Instagram, if you vote in the poll, thank you. Uh, so next video is gonna be the update on the cut and everything. But today we're meal prepping for the week. Uh, I have one meal per day meal prep for my lunches. Um, then the other meal I eat on campus because I do have a meal plan I need to use up and not waste my money. But here is what we are having. So we're gonna make, what are we making Avery? Food. <laughs> what's, the, what's the meal called though? Um, chipotle, quinoa, sweet potato stuff. Okay, so we got some sweet potatoes, salsa, quinoa, peppers, corn, kale, loud noises coming from Avery, chicken breast, and then a stick of butter. And a big pan. For the health of it. And a big pan. <laughs> But yeah, so this is gonna be the meal prep. I guess without further ado, let's get into cooking. We haven't made this before. It's the first time making this. It sounded really good on the inter interweb. So here we go. On the screen, I'll put an image of what the meal's supposed to look like, and then we'll put what ours actually looks like. Um, this week, better. yeah. And just if you're wondering, I'm making four meals this week. Uh, that's all I need. And then Avery, you're making four also. Yeah. Yeah. Three. Three or four, so. First things first, you gotta cut up some sweet potatoes, uh, and then we're gonna cook these in a big old pan to start out, but just cut on the sweet potatoes. Avery's doing it actually, but that's the first step. Question for you guys, do you peel your sweet potatoes when you cook them, or do you do not? Do you drop them on the ground? I think dropping stuff. them on the ground is a must. I don't even know where it went. But, yeah, do you peel your sweet potatoes? Because I never do, and personally, I don't really care about like the dirt and stuff on it. I always feel like it's good for me. Maybe that's gross. Dirt. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like bad spots. Next up, we're going to put some olive oil in a big old pan because this is where we're going to be cooking everything. Include? Put that in there. Also, guys, just making sure you represent the <laughs> Stanley <laughs> Buffalo. Go charges. <laughs> Next up, we gotta slice up our chicken breasts. I went, I went with chicken breasts. You can do any meat for this probably, but just got sliced up. It's going into the pan next. And then we gotta make our quinoa. I was gonna go a couple cups of this, but it ended up being almost the entire bag. So I just dumped the whole thing in uh, into some boiling water, cooking that up. We have the sweet potatoes still cooking right now. Uh, we'll add in the chicken shortly, but that's where we're at right now. Alright guys, we're going to make the chipotle dressing now. So, can you see me? They can see you and the sour cream. It's kind of, like barely. Okay, well here's the sour cream. We're going to add like one and a half cups, but we're just going to add two three quarter cups. And I'm just making it difficult because I don't actually have a three quarter cup. So, two quarter cups and two half cups. So, don't worry, my hands are clean. And then in the half cup. Actually, you're probably gonna just add this whole thing. It's really all we have left. You gotta talk loud. Just Sorry. Um, do you wanna give me a spatula, please? Spatula? No! This is, okay, this is a spatula, but I mean like a rubber scraper. <laughs> Should have seen that catch, guys. I don't know if you can see me now. Catch. But. Can they, can they see me now? Yeah. Yeah, they can see you. They can't see your face. Good catch. You see that? Wow, they didn't probably see it. Okay, so then we're just going to add, this is like two three quarter cups. So, like I said, one and a half. So, there's the sour cream. Now we're going to add, um, my hands are good, but it's fine. Two tablespoons of crushed red pepper flakes. Um, it's supposed to be like a chipotle like dressing but sadly there was no chipotle peppers at the store so this is just gonna have to do and then i'll add a little cayenne for some spice so there's one and then two i hope they can see this because i don't know struggle a little dash of that Oh, it's spicy. Okay, now we're gonna add half teaspoon. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Now we're adding a 
half a teaspoon of salt. It's not actually less salt, but it's as it is. And then, oh, oops, there's actually my mouth. Sorry, guys. Full teaspoon of lemon juice. two tablespoons of water. I just already put it in here because, yeah, I didn't want to to the sink for you guys. So, now we're just gonna blend this up in my handy dandy Nutribullet. Shake it up a little. And There's our dressing. I'm recording this clip to show you how big of a chicken boob this is. That's a big chicken boob. What size do you think they are? Double D's? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Guys, that's not appropriate. X cubed. <laughs> Hello. Oh my thing. <laughs> Here we have 56 ounces of chicken breasts that are gonna go into the pan. Now we add some spice. I think it's paprika. I don't really know. Go. Make sure a few of them drop on the ground. It's critical for everything. Stop doing that. <laughs> the pressure. Also, just want to say uh, we got a little full on our pan because we're doubling at least or more what the recipe is. That's a lot of chicken in there because I want more protein. If you know me, I'm a big protein man myself. Um, so I don't know how we're going to fit all this in there because it's all supposed to go in that one pan. We'll see how it goes. But it's looking pretty scrumptious right now if it focuses. That looks pretty yummy. All right, so we're now just kind of chilling. Got the peppers cut, the chicken and potatoes are cooking, the quinoa is cooked. Um, and we have to add some corn and kale and stuff, but in the sauce, but it's all pretty much just waiting now. A lot of chicken, so it's got quite a while to cook. Um, there's Maisie, Maisie's off her chain. I think yeah, Jenny might be out there, the puppy. But I just wanna take a moment to shout out Avery <laughs> and her cooking page on Facebook and TikTok. It's a so, baking page. Baking, my bad, sorry. <laughs> um, but go, if you have Facebook, it's Aves Bakes or Avery Weinheimer. You should be able to find it. Um, and then also TikTok, Aves Bakes. Check her out. Like, follow, comment, support her. <laughs> if I can figure out how to do it, I'll put the links in the description. But otherwise, it'll just be Aves Bakes. Find her, A-V-E-S space Bakes on Facebook. And then Aves Bakes, no space, on TikTok. Check it out. Pretty good stuff. Uh, she's the reason cutting is hard for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Because <laughs> she makes all the sweets. Like, there's literally a peanut butter pie in the fridge right now that I could eat. But I'm not going to do it. Because it's cutting season. And we got to get abs out here. Now we are adding in our peppers to the whole mixture. And we'll cook these up in there. Not a ton of peppers, just enough to have some. And then we're going to move into the corn. I believe we just end up putting the whole bag of frozen corn. Uh, frozen vegetables are so cheap, guys. Just buy those. It's the easiest. Now we're putting in the quinoa. All the quinoa. I'm using a measuring cup just so I can uh, track how I did it for the end of the video when I explain the calories and everything to you guys and for myself for tracking. But putting in a bunch of quinoa and it is getting pretty dang full so it's going to be an issue mixing this bad boy around as you will see in a second so yeah it's a big pan but not big enough apparently so there's all the quinoa in a second it is now we're going to put salsa I just got I like the fresh market side salsa from Walmart I put half of the container in you could put more or less but I just figured that'd be good it does not look near as good as it does in person like the salsa looks kind of blah here but it was pretty good in person and now 
I'm gonna try to mix this all around. That is very, very full, so we'll see how it goes. This is gonna be very difficult. As you can see, I'm doing pretty well so far, but in a second here, I'm gonna start making a mess because I kind of have to like fold it in. It's a big pain. Um, this is a huge pan, by the way, guys. I don't know if we could get a bigger pan than this, but I'm gonna mix this around. Probably gonna make a big old mess. I know I am because I'm recording this voiceover afterwards, but it's starting to look pretty good, taking shape. Uh, this whole mixture is what we'll end up putting into our containers. Uh, we just have like one more thing to add in, but mixing around so far so good. But the mess does come and it gets pretty bad. Okay, go <laughs> adding some kale, just winging it basically, not really measuring. We're only putting as much as we can fit in there. Hopefully, we can mix that around. Okay. We'll see. That's kind of a lot. It's okay, we need the fiber. I think kale has fiber. All right, we made an absolute mess trying to mix this in. We put it in the other pot, but it's done. It looks pretty good. We were, we'll put the sauce on top and some cilantro, but now we can dish it up. So what I did is I added everything into my, my into my fitness pal for the calories of this whole thing sitting here, and now I will divide it by the portion that I take. So if I take half of it, I'll divide it by my four days. Yeah, we'll figure out the math, but here we go. About a third of what our total thing is, probably. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just. I'll try to take all of this third. Got a lot of kale on this one. All right, so everything is done. We're drizzling the sauce over the top, and this is looking good. That sauce makes it look very aesthetic and just good overall. And we also have to add one more thing after we get the sauce on, and that is the um, uh, parsley? What is? I don't even know what this stuff is. Cilantro, that's what it is. And then there's a final product. I don't, if that doesn't look good, I don't know what does. All right, so everything is cooked. You just saw the final product. Uh, hopefully, it looked as good as it did in the beginning. Uh, it looks pretty good to me right now. I'm actually hungry, but tonight we're going to have pizza because it's Pizza Sunday, and if you know me, Pizza Sunday is a must. But let's go ahead and get into the calories for the meal. So it's kind of a finagle to be able to calculate everything. So I just said I had about a little over half, so I mean 0 0.55 of the whole thing. And then I did that, divided that 0 0.55, divided by four, because I made four meals for myself. So it comes out to about 674 calories. Um, and you can see what the corn, the pepper, the kale, the quinoa, the sweet potato, chicken breast, that all comes out to 674-ish. And it might be a little higher than what the actual thing is, but I didn't include the salsa calories or the calories from the sauce because it's like so insignificant. Don't waste your time getting so nitpicky on all these sauces and stuff. Just do whatever you do, do it consistently. So if you consistently don't count the sauce, then you'll be able to consistently like, oh, I go, I've been gaining weight. I just need to overall eat less. Don't get too meticulous about um, getting the sauce. That's a big word. Hope you guys like that. Don't get lost in the sauce, people. Don't get lost in the sauce. <laughs> um, so if we go over to nutrition, I'm on my fitness pal again. That's how I track. So that would be Tuesday because of how I did it. Anyways, protein, 78 grams of protein, very high. Fat, nine grams. Carbs, 73 grams. So I'm definitely going to have to eat some more fats in the other areas, but it's a very great high protein meal. Um, so that's nice. Chicken, very lean, high protein. That'd be good. Um, so that's the whole meal right there. 700 calories-ish. 78 grams of protein, pretty damn high protein. I'm excited to try it. I think it's gonna taste delicious. It looks really good. And if we go ahead and, I showed the original price on the beginning, or at least I hope I did. I mean to, when I'm editing this, show the original price for the whole thing. So the total price for everything, we bought it at, all at Walmart, um, $28.93 total. And that's not counting some spices that were already here. So if you buy the spice, it's gonna have to cost more because yeah spice it's kind of expensive you buy the spices but once you have it you have it for a while so 28.93 that comes down to for eight meals 
$3.61 a meal. $3.61 per meal for me and Avery because we made eight meals out of this. That is pretty damn cheap. It is not that hard to do to meal prep. You save yourself a ton of money, especially like I wish I could drop my college meal plan because I would just meal prep and save myself a ton of money and quit eating out. Like if you home cook your meals, it's easy to eat healthy for cheap. That is super cheap. You could literally, if you work at all, you'll make enough money for your meals for the week. So very cheap. Um, yeah, and it's pretty good size, should be filling. A high protein, that'll be satiating, which means like makes you not hungry because it takes away your hunger. But yeah, that was that's the meal. I'm excited to eat it. Hopefully it's good. I'll let you guys know on my Instagram <laughs> story after I upload the video, I'll like, let you guys know if I actually liked it a lot. Um, it's a new one. We kind of do stuff similar to this, but it should be good. I'm interested. That's pretty much everything. Not much more to say. Avery's doing some dancing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're about to go work out, hit some abs on Sunday, maybe run a little bit. I haven't ran in a while. And then we're going to enjoy some pizza for Sunday. But that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe, check out Avery's TikTok and stuff. Avery, come in here. We got outro for the video. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>